Welcome to Butler's Precision CAD CAM. Today we're going to take a look at creating our one jam part. We are going to be learning today profiling complex shapes. We're going to be doing pocketing, open and closed pockets. And we're going to be doing rectangular patterns by creating points for a drilling operation. Okay, this is the one jam. We're going to start off, we can see with our overall shape is going to be a rectangle, and the horizontal width is going to be 5, the vertical height is going to be 3, and it's going to be extruded back 0.75 inches. Okay, let's begin the WOM jam. Let's go up to the orange file in the top left hand corner of the screen and select New from the menu that's there. We're going to choose Standard.IPT, and we're going to click Create. We're going to start with a 2D sketch and we're going to place it on our XY plane and click front in our world view cube. Referencing our part once again, you can see on this drawing we have a horizontal width of 5 and a vertical height of 3 and we're going to extrude it back 3 quarters of an inch 0.75. Okay, let's create that part. In the create section of our ribbon bar we're going to select the rectangle tool we're going to lock on to our origin, making sure we get our green dot. We're going to click, stretch a rectangle up to the upper right-hand quadrant. Our horizontal dimension is 5. Press the tab key on the keyboard. Our vertical dimension is 3. Press enter on the keyboard. We're going to go up to green check mark and ribbon bar to finish sketch. And we're going to click home in our world view cube to zoom all. And then we're going to take an extrude. Now end result, this part is going to get cut onto a CNC mill in the classroom. And here you can see with this orange arrow coming towards us for direction one for the extrusion, that puts our sketch on the back, which means that our X0, Y0, Z0, and the place our tool is going to be starting is down at the bottom here. We want this to be on the top corner. So in order to bring our sketch to the front of this, we're going to flip our extrusion arrow to the opposite direction, orange arrow going away from us. That puts our sketch on the top of our front view, and this is our X0, Y0, Z0 in the lower left-hand corner here. Then we're going to change our distance to 0.75 and click OK. Now let's take a look at our part once again. We have these slots that are in here that are cut out. It's one inch in for a width and it is three inches tall, goes top to bottom. And each side is in a half inch. See those listed here. Okay, one inch by three inch. So back to our part, let's take a 2D sketch, place those on the front of a drawing, click front, and we're going to use our rectangle tool for that. We're going to start on the upper edge of our part, we're going to click, stretch out a rectangle. Remember the horizontal distance was 1, press tab on the keyboard, the vertical distance here was 3, press enter on your keyboard. Okay, now we're going to dimension for its location. We want a dimension from the left-hand side of our part to the left-hand side of the rectangle we just drew. Bring this dimension down. And this dimension is 0.5. And then enter on the keyboard or green check mark right here. You need to do the same thing on the other side. So let's take another rectangle tool. Start on the upper edge of our part. When that part highlights, click, stretch out a rectangle. And once again, this is one for the horizontal dimension. Press the tab key on the keyboard three for the vertical dimension, and then press enter on the keyboard. So that's our shape with its size. Now we have to create our location dimension. So we're going to click our dimension tool from the left hand side. I'm sorry, dimension tool from our room bar at the top. We're going to click on the right hand side of our part. Click on the right hand side of our rectangle we created and bring this dimension down. Click to place it and we're going to change that dimension to 0.5. Okay, that looks great. Green check mark, finish sketch from the ribbon bar at the top. Now we're going to take an extrude. Before we do that, we want to see how far these slots get extruded. If we take a look at our top view up here, you can see that it is 0.38 for an extrusion depth. Okay, so let's do that for our extrusion. Back to our part. We're going to extrude. 
and you can see that it doesn't have any profiles selected so we're going to come in and click our first rectangle on the left and our second rectangle on the right we want to flip our extrusion arrow so that it's going to cut we want to change our extrusion distance here to 0.38 and we want to make sure that our cut output icon is selected this one right here and then click OK looking great so far now what we're going to do next is we're going to draw these six holes in here however we're only going to create one hole which is this one that's in the top left corner or top left of the root holes and we are going to use rectangular pattern in order to pattern those holes out you can see on the note here we're going to create the first point then use rectangular pattern to create the other five points okay so let's do that first so let's take our 2d sketch place it on our top view I'm sorry, place it on our front view. Click front in your world view cube to zoom in. And we're going to use our point tool from our ribbon bar up here in the create section to get the point tool. And we're going to click to place one point. Press the escape key to let go of your point tool. And now let's take a look at our dimensions. This center of this hole is 1.75 inches in from the edge and 0.5 inches down from the top. So let's place those two dimensions on here next. With our dimension tool, we're going to dimension from the point when it turns red, click, to the left-hand side of our part when it turns red, click, bring this dimension up. This dimension is 1.75, green check mark. And then we're going to dimension from the top of the edge of our part when it turns red, click, and our first point here when it turns red, click, bring this dimension out to the side. This dimension is 0.5, green check mark. Okay. Now, let's take a look at that specification again. So we're going to take and create the first point, then use rectangular pattern to create the other five points. Then we're going to use the hole tool to create the actual holes. Okay? So let's go up to the top. Next to our dimension tool, there's a rectangular pattern. We're going to click on rectangular pattern. And the first thing it wants us to do is select our geometry. So we're going to click that first point. Then we're going to choose Direction 1. For the Direction 1, when we click the Pick tool, we're going to click on the top edge of our part. When that highlights, click to select it. You can see that our green arrow is going to the left. You can see our point here. So we're going to flip that direction. That makes our arrow go to the right. And we want to have a quant total count of 2. And we now find what our dimension is here. So let's go to our part. We can see that the dimension in between the two holes, between the two holes, is one and a half inches. So let's go back to our part, and in that menu, let's change that dimension to 1.5. Don't click OK yet. We want to select direction number two. And here, we're going to, once we click direction number two, we're going to click on the left-hand side of our part. When it turns right, click to select it. You can see that our arrow is pointing down, so that's a good shape for us. We want to change our count to 3. And you can see those ghosted kind of in here. And we want to find out what our dimension is. So let's go back to our part. And we can see that the distance in between the two holes going vertically is 1 inch. So back to our part. We're going to change this dimension here to 1. And then click OK. That puts our six points on there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now let's use our hole tool green check mark to finish sketch and let's go select our hole tool here from our ribbon bar at the top now before we start doing anything with our hole tool let's take a look at our reference drawing again these six holes are a diameter of 0.25 and it goes a half inch deep so let's go back to our part we want to have a simple hole with no seat we want to have a distance icon selected here and we want to change our depth to 0.5 and we want to change our hole diameter to 0.25 and then we're going to click OK. Those holes look great in there. Let's take another look at our reference drawing. You can see on our reference drawing the only thing that we have left are these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 fillets that, I'm sorry, chamfers that we're going to put on. And those chamfers are 0.25 by 45 degrees. So let's go back to our part. Let's go get our chamfer tool 
up here in the modify section get your chamfer tool and we're going to change our distance here to 0.25 and now we're going to select the edges that need to get chamfered I'm going to click one two three four five six now to get the other chamfers on the sides that we can't see we can either take and see that hidden line in the back here and select it that way or we could click the bottom left hand corner our world view cube that'll rotate our part up and we can click that edge this way as well and then click home once we have those edges for our chamfers we're going to select apply then we're going to press cancel and there we go the one jam is finished we need to go up to part and change our material type so above our ribbon bar in the default section right here you're going to click on the pull down arrow and we're going to go to blue wall paint glossy. That looks awesome. Now let's go up to the file in the top left hand corner of the screen. You're going to go down to save as. Make sure you're in your H drive. First initial last name 000. And part one is not going to do for a file name. So we're going to change this to 1JAM. One 1JAM. One and click save. Nice job. In the next video, we're going to take you through how to cut this part and run the tool pass for the CNC mill. See you in the next set of videos.